Scottish Environment Protection Agency, we work towards understanding, protecting and improving Scotland's air quality. Better quality air means a better quality of life for you. As part of our duties, we carry out different types of air monitoring. Monitoring helps us to assess the presence of harmful pollutants in the air, such as nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulphur dioxide, volatile organic compounds, and fine invisible particles known as particulate matter. This helps us to identify issues and take any necessary action to reduce these pollutants. The air monitoring that we carry out can take three forms. Ambient air monitoring, stack emission monitoring, and airborne hazard emergency response monitoring. Ambient air monitoring is carried out to check the level of pollutants in the air over a period of time at a particular location, usually where there are industrial processes. Our field chemists work with our regulatory officers to identify sites where ambient air monitoring is needed. Monitoring equipment is then set up for periods of up to a year and the measured data analysed to assess any effects the site and process may be having on the local air quality. We can monitor for a range of pollutants, one of which is dust, a common pollutant associated with many industrial activities. The businesses that we regulate are required to measure and report on the emissions from their chimney stacks. We also inspect those businesses on a regular basis to ensure that they are complying with the conditions we have set within their licence. These inspections include auditing of the site's own monitoring activities, our own planned stack emission monitoring of their chimney stacks, and unscheduled visits to check compliance. These activities are carried out by our in-house team or, for the more complex sites, by specialist contractors. We also respond to emergency situations. When a serious incident occurs, the emergency services can call in our mobile Airborne Hazards Emergency Response Team. A significant release of toxic gases, such as from a chemical fire or an explosion at an industrial site, poses a threat to human health and must be monitored. Once on site, our team will use various instruments to monitor a wide range of gases and airborne dusts. The information we collect is sent to a lead officer and used to inform a multi-agency emergency assessment and response. Throughout the duration of the incident, we will continue to monitor the air on site or in the local area until the threat from the incident has passed. The air quality in Scotland is generally good and we know this from our monitoring activities. We will continue this important work to ensure we understand, improve and protect air quality for the future.